Item number SCP-3073. Index. All the men and women merely players. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-3073 is to be kept in a soundproofed containment cell furnished with one standard sitting stool, as well as five folding chairs set up in such a way that SCP-3073 can present from the stool to any audience members in the chairs. The room is to be equipped with lights capable of being dimmed by a simple handheld remote, which will be given to SCP-3073 for it to use at its own discretion. To ensure the utmost cooperation from SCP-3073, five on-site personnel, selected at random, are to sit in as audience members for SCP-3073's performances. At least one researcher must be present for each performance to document any new instances of SCP-3073-1. For their own safety, and for SCP-3073's, all audience members are expected to use proper theater etiquette during performances. D-Class personnel are not to be selected as audience members. See Incident 3073. Description. SCP-3073 is a male of European descent with long, red hair and attire that is similar to that of most modern-day orchestra conductors. Where its face should be, SCP-3073 instead has a miniature theatrical stage. At most times of the day, this stage is completely hidden by SCP-3073's hair, which acts as a stage curtain. SCP-3073 is fully capable of speech and has demonstrated that it can see, despite its lack of a mouth and eyes. SCP-3073 appears to be fluent in many languages, but seems to prefer using English, French, German, and Italian. The only time when SCP-3073's stage is visible is when SCP-3073-1 manifests, at which point SCP-3073 will part its hair. When questioned about its age, SCP-3073 stated it as as old as the stage itself. SCP-3073-1 manifests as a cast of miniature humanoids who will begin performing a certain type of live theater on SCP-3073's stage. SCP-3073-1 has been observed performing plays, operas, symphonies, and, on one occasion, something one researcher described as a pen and teller-esque magic show. SCP-3073 has shown to be very affectionate towards SCP-3073-1, referring to them as its little friends. SCP-3073 becomes much more amiable and cooperative after SCP-3073-1 has had a live audience to perform for. Upon questioning about the number of entities that make up SCP-3073-1, SCP-3073 stated it currently has 113 performers. Strangely, despite SCP-3073's passion for and extensive knowledge of music and the performing arts, SCP-3073-1's performances are of objectively poor quality, as if most of the cast have little to no experience. Many members of SCP-3073-1 display extreme stage fright, terrible acting skills, and constantly forget lines during plays. Operas are sung off-key, and symphonies have been described as an ear-splitting cacophony. SCP-3073 itself never brings up the quality of SCP-3073-1's performances and becomes evasive when questioned. Should proper theater etiquette be broken during a performance? such as if an audience member begins talking or booing. All on-stage cast members will stop their performance and stare at the offending individual. Should the audience member continue to ignore proper theater etiquette, SCP-3073 will become confrontational and request that the offender leave. If SCP-3073's request is ignored, it will attempt to forcefully remove the audience member. Incident 3073. During a performance of Othello, SCP-3073 tackled D-8692, a particularly ill-mannered audience member. The ensuing fight was quickly broken up by the four other audience members, but not before a cast member of SCP-3073-1 was grabbed and killed by D-8692. SCP-3073 became distraught, and all performances by SCP-3073-1 ceased. All attempts to communicate with SCP-3073 at this time were unsuccessful. Two days after the fight, 
D-8692 suddenly disappeared from his holding cell. At around the same time, SCP-3073-1 began performances again. When questioned, SCP-3073 cheerfully responded, We got a new cast member.